I must have spent about two hours searching for a field to go detecting on because all my permissions are absolutely seeded now. So I've driven about 25 miles to a place where I thought everything would be fine, but uh, no. And I've ended up on a field which I, I hate. <laughs> I hate this blooming field. Permission to swear, sir. It's awful, this field. It's, it's always notoriously awful. Never found a thing off it. It's really not good. It's all really, really fluffy today and I'm a, a bit upset, but I'm not gonna use that as an excuse. Lord, wish me luck, bleepers. Wish me luck out there. Sensitivity, up full, iron volume, middle, ground balance, no. Discrimination, low. Discrimination volume, middle. Here we go. Ah, huge bit of iron. You guys know me, I'm eternally optimistic. But this is, if I had a choice of fields, this would be my last choice of field. I can't stand this field, right? And I'll show you why. Okay, so these bits of straw, yeah? Um, this here represents a train track, and this here represents pylons, all right? My detector hates both, because they're massive sources of electricity. So I literally have this strip to detect in right down the middle there, and it's horribly windy, and it's raining as well. Uh, and because other people have the same problems, this strip is tend to done quite a lot. There's about two other detectorists on here as well. Uh, but I'm gonna stay optimistic and try and hope for the best. I'm gonna try and do a video, but the wind is just... It's probably pounding today. The camera's not going to do that justice. Uh, there's something there. I don't, know, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely shaping. I can't... It's probably nothing, and I'm probably just being over-optimistic. But, ah, do you know what? Just looks like the corner or something there, you fool. Hold on one sec. Give you a quick rub. No, 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 I just think it's a bit of tat. Okay, so it's certainly a circular piece of metal, but it's extremely, extremely light. Um, it's got no weight to it, so I wouldn't expect it to be a coin. It's very strange though, hold on. Ah, okay, so no, it's definitely a button, I believe. Look, it's got a lot of intricate little marks on it though. It's an interesting one, that is. Look at that. You see that? That's the back of it there, I believe, because I can see the clasp in the middle. But you can look to the front and look... The... There's all sorts of little things going on, but I can't quite make out anything in particular. Uh, it's probably going to be a military button of some sort I'm not sure but that's a really interesting little thing actually I'm gonna I'm looking forward to cleaning that one up in this instance I'll get back to you on this as well I promise oh no that button threw me for a second there look at that oh, I've got it I saw the glint of silver around the side of this gilding down around the sides here and it's got a kind of like copper middle really unusual actually ah oh, man that is a strange one, isn't it? I don't know, is that... Uh, yeah, I've never seen a button like that. Very, very odd. I like it, though. It's cool. What are you doing up there? Get down from there, you fools! There you go. That's better. This isn't good. Another tin can, huh? Probably about a sixth. Some fields are cursed! And this, alas, is one of those fields. Of all the fields that could and couldn't be... It had to be... Oh. In all honesty, there's a dip down there, a really interesting looking dip, which could be, uh, could have had some sort of structure on it. So I'm gonna investigate that dip. Wish me luck. Yes, the dip has saved me. Long live the dip. I found a coin or a button. I think it's a coin. It most certainly is a coin. I don't know what it is though. Uh, quick clean up. Got a bit overexcited there, but I haven't had a signal for about an hour. Uh, yeah, no idea. I think it's a coin of nothingness, and therefore a bit of old toot. Um, there could be something that comes off. Uh, no, no, it's 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 had it. And a teeny little case there. Not very interesting, but there you go. Now, I thought that might be a bag seal or a, a lead token of some sort there, but it's just a, a perfectly round, like a almost like a peppermint. It's a perfectly round bit of lead. Nothing on it at all. Oh, God, that is such a shame, isn't it? Look at that. Ugh. Okay, I found the perfect signal. Do you hear how bright that is? That is a beauty. And I'm gonna do a live dig with you guys. Because I'm quite optimistic about this little thing. This little item, where are you sir? Okay, so whatever it was was pretty much lying on the surface as well. Uh, no. 
Okay, finally I have it. It's in this little kind of... Uh, see how dry the, gr the uh, ground is today? It's a nightmare, it's fluffy, it needs to be wet and... Oh, good lord! Aha, and we do have a coin or button situation and I do believe it is a coin because I'm, I cannot see any clasp on the back, my friend. So I am presuming coin, perhaps a half penny of some sort. Let's give it a quick little wee clean up. I'm not going to have much luck with this, but it is indeed, I believe it is a, a uh, half penny of some sort because I can see Britannia there. But if you look on the back, you can just see the bust of what looks like to be Victoria, perhaps. But a, quite a young Victoria. So uh, I'd be really interested to see what the date is. Well, I can probably work out what the date is on that one. Um, but yeah, that should clean up quite... I don't know, actually. I, don't, I can't quite make out if it's muck or like that green bad patina. The bad patina, not the good patina. So you can see half of her face there, which is quite well defined. But unfortunately, the, this green part up here is uh, not. Ah, cheese and onion sandwich. Can't beat a good cheese and onion sandwich. this oh I know what this is oh, I've had these for ages I'm supposed to do a review on these headphones I don't normally like headphones I don't use headphones I like I normally detect a lot by myself and all the headphones that I've had in the past have just been a nightmare because you get wires and things I hate wires you know but these are cool these are more intriguing because look 2.4 giga 2.4 gigahertz what is back to the future I don't know flux capacitor or something that clicks into the back of your machine right like that you get a sticky thing that goes underneath your machine like that and it all runs off of Bluetooth so there's no wires charge it up via USB there look I'm going to try this out in the week and get back to you and see if I like them or not but until then banana Aha, and of course your obligatory bullet just lying on the top there okay hold on a second Hold on a second. Look at that. Is it like a bit of a Monopoly piece? The iron? No, it's not an iron. It's like an old button or something. Oh, no way. I know what this is. Oh, man. Look at that. That's an old fob seal. Oh, wow. Oh, that is cool. That is that's like the Baratheon sign, isn't it, from the Game of Thrones? cool if it was a wolf but my god I'm happy with that it's a seal it's a blooming fob seal so you know but I found that matrix seal so that's what I used to do to blob the letters um, this is obviously a later dated one I'd probably what's that well it's gonna be it's definitely silver so probably 18th 19th century I think that they only lords and things had like the silver and gold ones oh man that is so cool isn't it isn't that what does it say there does that say a C, but it's back to front C because obviously when you go it goes the other way. So it's definitely a seal. Oh man, a bit guy that it snapped there, but who cares? Isn't that cool? I've got myself my own Baratheon seal. Whoa. You gotta excuse me for getting excited guys, but that is a very, very cool thing. I am you've got no idea how happy I am with that. That is just so cool, isn't it? I just, I just think it's brilliant. I'm looking forward to researching that as well. Uh, definitely a fob seal, I know that, which is like a kind of like evolved matrix seal, if you will. It's just brilliant. I'd, I'd love, I love little personable items like these that would have been used, you know, maybe every day. I think I probably would have hung around their, around their neck like that. Anyway, my friends, thank you for joining me on this journey again, and I shall see you in the next video.